Hey, hi, how's everybody doing? I'm in the bathroom right now. Everybody else in the house is sleeping, so I just wanted to come to a space that was nice and quiet so I can vlog. Hey, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys so much for coming to watch today. I really appreciate it. I wanted to take this time, this moment, talking to you guys, talking about moving forward and transitioning into 2017 into a brand new year. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for the new year. One of the big reasons why I'm excited for a new year is because I'm just ready to move and go into an awesome, fun year and just have a blast. One of the things I did, which I did yesterday, was create a vision board. And I'll share that with you guys tomorrow. I don't have it with me today. It's at my apartment. And right now, I'm at my parents' house. So I'll definitely be showing you guys that tomorrow. I just wanted to share what my big goals were for 2017. And my goals that I set are very um, ambitious. They're pretty ambitious for me. I think it's enough to get me motivated to be productive throughout the whole entire year and just to stay focused, have a focused mindset and set the tempo for me to have an awesome, fun year, possibly the best year of my life. I don't know. So just real quick, briefly, a few things that I put on my vision board were Number one is to get 100,000 total subscribers on YouTube between this channel, my vlogging channel, and my 7 Subtle channel, my artistic channel. So those two channels, 100,000 100, subscribers by the, the end of the year. Right now, I probably have about 2,500 between the two channels. And it's a very ambitious goal. I don't know how it can happen or how I'm going to do it exactly, but it, it's an exciting goal for me. And if that can happen, it will just open up so many things for me. Like, I really would like to do YouTube for full, full time. And I've been working for my parents the entirety of my life through high school, through college. I'm already done with college, guys, but I still work for my parents. And it's just this thing that like my family, even as we get older, our parents in a way are always trying to give us like, I mean, they're always there and they're supportive, at least in the sense that they want me to do be successful. So I, for one, want to be financially independent of them. And not to say that I'm getting money from my parents for free. I do work for them. So basically, I, I've been working for my parents all my life. And I want to, this year, by the end of the year, be able to not work for my parents anymore. So that would be so amazing because that would be like, it feels so freeing for me because that'd be like the first time I didn't work for my parents. And it's kind of like, it feels like they're keeping me there, but the truth is, it's my own issue. It's my own fault that I'm not able to get myself out of this situation where I'm needing their help and I'm needing to work for them. So that's one thing. And 100,000 subscribers, I feel, I really, really feel will make me feel like I can give all my attention to YouTube full time and not work for my parents anymore. Yeah, that's, that's what I feel. Another thing is that I put on is I want to write 52 scripts and I'm not saying full on like movie scripts, but just like little short scripts. So that's, there's 52 weeks in a year, so I want to do, have 52 scripts written, okay? So just like, it can be comedy skits, sketches, it can be short films. 52 completed ideas that I can shoot, and that's my goal, so one a week. And that's, that's very, very doable. If I happen to skip a week, I can make up to the following week. So that's that's really flexible. And 52, I believe I can really do. Another thing I wrote was $10,000 in savings. I do not really have any money in savings right now. And I just want to accumulate $10,000 in savings just to see if I can do it. And that's pretty achievable. It's not like out of the realm of possibility. And that would be really exciting. And the next thing is I want to travel to two different places this past year, I don't think I travel at all. So I want to make sure that I get out of California and either travel just to a couple places, whether it's in the United States or internationally. So either way, have fun. One of the spots will probably be with Tima. I think one of the spots I, I probably will go alone just to just explore by myself, you know, because I'm going to... 
I'm an adventurer, I like to explore by myself. And then another thing I wrote was a bracelet on Etsy. It's more like an expensive bracelet for myself, like a hundred to two hundred dollars or something, just just as a as like a reward for myself and um, just just a gift for myself for for the year, you know. I can get that anytime, either somewhere like in the middle of the year or at the end of the year as like a reward for myself to treat myself. I think that would be really cool. And then one more thing was, gosh, I, I don't remember what I wrote. Oh, the gym. It was gym goals. So right now my max one rep bench is, that means how many, the maximum amount I can bench for one rep, rem one repetition is 165, which is around my body weight. and. I, it's not that good. By the end of the year, I want to have my one rep max rep to 225. That means it's a 45 set barbell weight barbell plus 245. That means the big weights on each side of the barbell. So 245 plates on each side of the barbell for one rep by the end of the year. If I can do that, that would mean I would be the strongest that I've ever been in my life, which would be amazing for me. Not to say that I'm really strong. <laughs> So those are my ambitions and some of them are l much loftier and bigger, but it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. So I'm asking you guys to set some goals for yourself, maybe make a vision board like me, but at least write down some goals. But I highly recommend a vision board because it's just big and visual, so it's something you can look at every single day versus writing it down on a piece of paper. You, for me at least, I tend to forget about it, like after a week even, I just don't remember it anymore. So a vision board with pictures and words is going to be really, really helpful. So I'm inviting you guys to come along with me on this ride and just uh, really have a great, awesome year. And definitely, it starts definitely now. And I know you guys all know that, so you don't have to wait till the beginning of January 1st to start, to make your vision board, or just to start new habits, or to start and, and set new goals and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm definitely really, really excited for this year. So make sure you guys um, subscribe to this channel. Definitely want to grow this a lot. I want you guys to come along and have a fun ride. Let's do this. Let's have a lot of fun. Fun, my friends. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to uh, leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, subscribe, leave a comment even, and talk about how this video might have inspired you to maybe do something of your own, or any ideas that you guys want to spin off of it, or anything like that. Or just leave a comment for gratitude, just for thankfulness. If you guys have any questions about anything else, any um, other journals or writings that I do, because I have a couple other things. I have like a, a gratitude journal and just like a regular daily journal that I try to write in every day, but I don't. But those are other things I do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. Goodbye.